question in the chat. And I feel like a lot of people are having some frustrations with KD because he ends up playing a lot of isolation basketball. And, he, and the question is this, KD is great, but it, does he make the team better? It's an interesting question. What do you think about that, Brandon? The next day. Okay, if you guys watched the live show last night with the Suns Jam Session podcast, you guys heard me completely butcher that answer. And I guess I kind of just got caught off guard with that question. I instantly regretted my answer. And thank goodness for my friend John over at the Suns Jam Session podcast, who saved the day with his epic rant. You guys are going to hear you know, our answers here in a minute. But I guess what I'm trying to say here is, yes, Kevin Durant makes the team better, but we have to win a championship. I don't even know if that makes sense. I just want us to win a championship. That's why we traded for Kevin Durant in the first place. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I have been supportive of Kevin Durant even before we traded for him, I was even making videos when it didn't seem like we were going to trade for Kevin Durant. Seriously, I'm not even joking. I have a whole playlist of Kevin Durant videos going all the way back from when he played with the Brooklyn Nets and when the Phoenix Suns trade rumor started. Seriously, check out that playlist. So I know it seems a little unnecessary, but I just wanted to make a quick little video so you guys can listen to John's epic rant. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. I mean, I, I don't know what our record is with him. And again, we're only what in, this isn't even year two. Like, this is like year one sort of still. Like, it's, it's a carryover from year one if you think about it. I would say yes. I think he does because, again, the, the dude's just an elite player, an elite shot maker, and I feel like you don't make a trade for Kevin Durant if you're not going all in for a championship. Now, I know that there's a lot of McHale and Cam stands and all that. I'm not saying Saul's one of those people, but, like, I think he does make the team better. Now, that that's still yet to be determined because we don't know what's going to happen in the playoffs. I'll, I'll just put it this way. If we don't win a championship with Kevin Durant, then yeah, he didn't make the team better. But I mean, we're still in this trial. We're still going through it with Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Not really sure if that answers your question, but yeah. I'll make this nice and easy. Absolutely, he does. He's Kevin Durant. You know who he is. Now, I get it. I, the isolation ball can drive people nuts a little bit from time and to time. And the turnovers. And the turnovers. I understand that. But you need to have an elite talent to win in this league. Exactly. Right? We, we, you need to have a guy who in the last five minutes of the game, you can give to him and you have confidence that he's going to make the shot. That's Kevin fucking Durant. That's why you have him here. Would you ever rather have Mikhail Bridges who's like fleeting away and in Brooklyn right now? and has having But the vibes crisis? with Cam and the twins. Yeah. And it was great. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. It was great. It was a building block to what we are now. Oh, God. Can you, how, like, can you hear that? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm making a really good point. This guy's really fucking me over here. <laughs> the challenge, like... Yeah, go out 108, everybody. One minute later. But absolutely, KD makes this team better. Again, I can, I can understand frustrations that you have, but we can't be those fans, okay? Because I'll talk about on the subreddit stakeout where all they did was dog Jason Tatum all fucking night. You guys should be thankful that we have Kevin Durant on this team. His elite shot making, yeah, like... You know what happens tonight if his teammates make the fucking shots? When the gravity that he pulled in and he passes it to Royce O'Neal and Royce O'Neal goes one of nine from the field, KD doesn't make his team better because he's passing the wide open guys and they're not hitting it. Grayson Allen, 0 4 from beyond the arc. That's not on KD. He got he did his job. He got them open. They have to hit those shots. So I get the frustration that people can have time to time because of turnovers, okay? But if that's the price we have to pay for 45 points, if that's the price that we have to pay to have somebody next to them Booker, so you have two, May with Bradley Beal. Three guys with under five minutes who can go down and can create their own shot. Like, do you guys know what it's like to not have a guy who can create its own shot? Don't you dare fucking give up on what Kevin Durant is as a fan. Don't, because we know what's on the other side. We know what it's like to have Devin Booker out there with a bunch of guys who can't create their own shots and how ugly Preach. kind of basketball that is and how he has to be forced to do everything offensively. And guess what? Nobody wins because of it. So, yeah, there's times of the game in which the ball movement stops a little bit. What the fucking do? It happens on every team. Okay, every team does it because their stars take over and run isolation sets. It's basketball. You're not going to run purely isolation. You're not going to run purely team basketball. You do a hybrid of both, and that's how you become a, a successful offensive team. But Kevin Durant does make the team better. I love you, Saul. You're here every fucking every after every post game podcast, man. You're a real one. But 
my my answer absolutely he does okay yeah i i regret answering that question the way i did i wish i would have just went off on a giant rant like you did one more thing just to add to that and it's not going to top off your amazing rant but kevin durant scored or assisted on 18 points in the third quarter uh, you know, and I'm not saying that Mikhail and Cam never did that, but that makes the team better. And again, just go back and watch that stretch when he legit put us on our put the Suns on his back and just carried us to that little comeback before we collapse. Stop hating quick, on Kevin Durant. Move on from the Twins. Appreciate the greatness that we have. So I'm gonna hand out some hardware real quick. <laughs> Jam star of the game. I don't know if this one even is a debate. Uh, if anybody has a case for anybody other than Kevin Durant, I would absolutely love to hear it. Uh, Suns Geek, is it Kevin Durant? Is that your jam star of the game? Yes, because Kevin Durant makes this team better, and the Suns were right to trade for Kevin Durant. There we go. That's that's <laughs> that's the that's answer the, I should have had originally. That's the fervor I like to hear. <laughs> Who cares what people think, man? If they think I'm wrong, oh, well, I'm wrong. You know, I guess what? It's okay to be wrong from time to time. Oh, yeah, I know this is totally random, but I found this awesome Star Wars toy. The box is a little bit damaged, but beyond that, it's in really good condition of the Hoth Rebel, Rebel Soldier. I mean, look at that. So vintage, so awesome. Look at that. And yes, I am a pretty big Star Wars fan, by the way. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm glad I found it. Sounds good.